So a quick update on the leak which hit the internet the other day regarding Cyberpunk and its cut content from the original game coming back as DLC and much much more and a supposed conversation between a CDPR dev and an unknown participant. We have more details people. This time coming straight from CDPR. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I'm giving you folk the chance to win any game of your choice. To enter my weekly giveaway, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Good luck. So the other day folks, I and many other people covered a supposed leak to the World Wide Web of a conversation between a CDPR dev and an unknown person. The leak spoke about what's going on behind the scenes with Cyberpunk 2077, within the CDPR studios, much about the game, its cut content, coming back as DLCs, and many other things. The person spoke about things happening right now, future DLCs and CDPR's dedication to have the game in perfect working order on all the platforms, a finished product, and what we should have received on launch arriving around the middle of June, big patches coming to fix the many problems people are having, remarks on Johnny Silverhand, cut quests and much much more. Now the video I made on this leak I said take it with a pinch of salt because we just do not know. And to be honest, as much as the leak did talk about problems at CDPR, it did more so speak on the future of the game and I know to many people what was said was actually pointing towards what would eventually be a great game for all. Again though, things like this must be taken with a pinch of salt due to literally anybody could have threw this thing together. And well guys, CDPR have responded directly to this supposed leak as they tweeted out the following not too long ago today. Normally we don't comment on rumours but this time we wanted to make an exception as this story is simply not true. And while although they are saying here that this statement is false, I actually don't know how to take this because the statement or the leak in which they are saying is false actually confirms a lot of true things about the game with things like cut content and this leaker also stated that the game will more or less only get better as time goes on. So for them to say normally we don't comment on rumours but this time we wanted to make an exception as this story is simply not true. I mean I don't mean to hate here but did they even read it because a lot of the leak was actually pointing towards what eventually would be a better game overall. I mean yes for sure there are parts of the statement which you wouldn't want to associate your company with in terms of the said CDPR employee who supposedly in this leak conversation is more or less stating there are parts of the company that are indeed a shit show. They also question the exec's choices with the game going forward. So I can understand from that perspective that you want to state this leak or statement is false. I completely understand that. But the parts about cut content which some of what was mentioned are things thought to have originally going to be included in the game like the subway system and the sewers, the many many locked doors and buildings and a few other things. These are actually in the game now for us to go and see but not use. So yeah, although I appreciate CDPR coming out and stating this leak is false, there are parts of it I hope were real just on the prospect of the game eventually being delivered as the game promised. But in saying that, I am being a little harsh as what CDPR cleared up and how they did so was from a brief statement. I guess they don't feel the need to go into details about it, which is fair enough. I mean obviously yes they're going to push for a much much better game, they're going to drop patches which are going to fix many problems people are having. Yes we will get DLCs, whether these DLCs will feature cut content, I mean who knows. But at the end of the day, CDPR is stating that the leak is false, it isn't true. I honestly don't think that means every aspect of the leak is false, it just means that this wasn't from a CDPR dev. But yeah guys, tell me your thoughts on this down below. I don't want to go on about it forever as it's clear CDPR are denying any involvement in this leak, which is something you'd expect them to do. But what do you think? Let me know down below. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.